Hi everyone, we are here for our, our fourth, I think, episode of Breaking Barriers Talks 2. Uh, this time I'm joined by Dr. Maddy Gomi. I am really fortunate enough to know Maddy through the work that we've been doing with him and his team in Portsmouth. Um, over the last few months, potentially even a year, we've put together a report called Trauma in Mind. It has looked at the mental health services for veterans, um, serving personnel and their families. Um, maddie has been central to this work, so we're really pleased that he's with us. I'll give him an opportunity to introduce himself, but first of all, I'll just talk about the second face on the screen as well. That is a familiar one. It's Dr. John Bashford, our research director, who's led the work from Breaking Barriers aside. Um, so Maddie, yeah, just in your own words, do you mind just briefly explaining what your role is and, and what you do? Yes, hello everyone. Uh, my, um, as, as you mentioned, I'm Maddie Gomi. I'm a consultant psychologist and a clinical director here at uh, Solon NHS uh, Trust. Uh, part of my work is overseeing our veteran pathways. Um, so uh, I was involved in uh, developing our new to just to be launched high intensity service, uh, newly NHS funded service here in Southeast. Uh, and I also oversee some of our other work we do for supporting our veteran communities, particularly in Portsmouth. Yeah, now, really important stuff there. And, and as I say, Maddie, you've been central to this report. Um, and so looking at it and thinking about the launch event next week, what do you think are the most important areas of the report that, that we've looked at? So I'm very pleased to see the launch of Troy in my in mind. I, I think it's a, a really important piece of work that's been undertaken by uh, your good self, you guys in Breaking Barrier Inventory. Uh, it highlights, I think, a number of key challenges we face in the provision of care for our veteran communities, uh, some of which includes, that really kind of stands out for me around, uh, limited access to uh, urgent care, crisis support, limited access to evidence-based treatment for veterans at times, uh, lack of sensitized uh, specialist support for our veteran communities, um, absence of integrated support for veterans with their families and carers, and some of the gaps that we have currently in our care pathway. So it's a really welcome uh, and I think crucial step forward, particularly because it uh, brings on board and really captures the voice of our veterans in uh, better understanding some of these challenges. Uh, I think we've still got a long way to go to really addressing the, the issues that we have. We've come a long way with the introduction of the uh, transition intervention liaison service and complex trauma service and now with his, but there's still quite a long way to go for us to really get this right. And if we don't really hear and listen and capture the voice of our uh, veterans who have lived experience, we won't get this right which is why I think this is a really, really important uh, piece of work moving forward. The other thing that I think um, is really important to highlight is uh, about trauma in mind is that it captures uh, subgroups of our veterans. So mm -hmm. uh, as part of the sample, we have LGBT community, female uh, veterans, so uh, other specific veteran populations who have their own unique challenges. Uh, their voices are also captured in this, which I, I think is another really welcome step forward. Yeah, no, I, I totally agree. You've talked about how important the lived experience is. I know from our perspective that was really important. Um, we have, I think, added over 150 voices to the final report. And as you've also alluded to there, Maddie, the diversity of those voices is equally important. You, you, you touched on, on tons of really important themes there, really central themes. But um, one of the issues that the report does allude to is the diagnosis of PTSD or complex PTSD and how that's not always a straightforward one. So with your clinician's hat on, how helpful do you think the phrasing around PTSD is for some people? So, I mean, the purpose of diagnosis is, um, is so that it designs uh, 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 and, uh, or allows us to formulate an understanding of a particular difficulty and provides a guideline in terms of what treatment we can uh, administer. 
So that's as far as it goes. In some contexts, it's, it's very useful because it, it uh, ensures that we keep to uh, latest guidelines. It keeps us to in, in line with nice guidelines uh, uh, recommendation. It allows us to stay within evidence-based framework. So across the board, but also particularly with PSD, it, it has a number of benefits in that sense, is that in that it allows us to kind of ensure that we operate within a, uh, a safe, and, and helpful and effective framework when we are supporting um, service users, in this case, uh, veterans. Um, there has been some developments in, in recent, uh, in, in the last couple of years. So, for example, NICE guidelines now recommend uh, clinically significant symptoms of PTSD. So it's possible to support folks, including veterans, who may not have the full criteria of PTSD diagnosis, but they may still present with symptomologies. So there has been some movement because there was a recent uh, updates of the guidelines for, for PTSD with, from NICE. Um, you mentioned the complex PTSD and trauma. So obviously we're then talking about much, much bigger subset of uh, patients. I mean, trauma, we're talking about a very large uh, subset because we know many of mental health difficulties have uh, a trauma component to it. So mm -hmm. I, I could, I, I mean, nothing is helpful if it's not uh, working and if it's not kind of leading to anywhere productive. Mm -hmm. So this is why it's so important that is context specific, uh, person specific, and it's, it's very much flexible rather than setting stone. So what, whilst I maintain that it has certainly some benefits and there are some movements in the field around that, um, I would not at all adhere to the idea of keeping to it too rigidly. Yeah. Um, I, and, and there are certainly elements of trauma treatment, PTSD treatment that could be helpful. And that again, there's movement in the literature around that. So for things like depression, for example, which may not have necessarily PTSD, but had trauma at the heart of it, or other anxiety problems where some of the interventions within PTSD can be really, really helpful. But then on the other hand, you could also, there are also cases where someone might have depression and actually really need that treatment for depression. Uh, without necessarily being given something that uh, moved them away from that frontline primary interventions that they need. So I guess my point is that it's a very complex picture mm. uh, and we need to be flexible, I think. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's that's a really succinct point to finish that question on. Um, Maddy, I think one of the reasons why your voice is so important in this discussion is because Portsmouth and NHS Solent specifically have been leading the way on trauma-informed mental health care amongst the armed forces and the veterans community. I think that's represented in our report, which is undeniably and deliberately focused on veterans serving personnel and their families. But I wonder whether you think a trauma-informed approach would be relevant or appropriate. Would it work in the wider system where we're talking about civilian access, um, or access to professionals who might experience trauma in their jobs, such as blue light service members, people like that. Do you think that's appropriate? I think it's a really, really uh, important step forward. Uh, and I think one, it's one of the things I really welcome to see uh, and, and was really interested to see in Trauma in Mind report, the importance of that sensitised um, understanding and approach and care for, for our veterans, specifically for our veteran communities. So as uh, you probably know, but it's worth mentioning in the high sense service, we've developed a trauma-informed veteran aware training package to really roll that out across the board. So that at, at any point, be it in mental health services or in social care services, when veterans are, are being seen that their difficulties is understood within that framework. Uh, I think that's so crucial given how prevalent trauma is, not PTSD, but trauma is, and, mm. and how much of an impact it has on a number of mental health difficulties across the board, as well as issues around substance misuse, criminal justice difficulties, systemic issues. It really goes across the board. So having a, a wider workforce that's trained, and skilled up, and has a good understanding and is sensitive to understanding the difficulties, whatever it might be, in that framework, I think will enhance the care that we provide, reduces a distress to turning into a crisis. Uh, it's, a, it's an important, crucial preventive measure and, and it allows us not to inadvertently re-traumatize uh, folks that we support. Yeah. 
Yeah, absolutely. I think what I'm hearing throughout all your answers, I think you spoke about it a few minutes ago. It was um, things aren't helpful unless they're making a difference. And I think that's that's absolutely spot on. Um, we've been speaking for about 10 minutes and, and, and we've unpacked just a tiny percentage of what's in the report. We are really excited about launching it a week today. Um, the link of how to sign up to that uh, launch event for free will be at the bottom of this video. Um, Maddie, I know you'll be speaking. John, I know you'll be speaking, but others will as well. Um, the event will be enriched by both of your voices and, and the voices of your colleagues. So Maddie, I just want to say thank you for your time this afternoon and thank you for your time next week. Um, I know it will be a really well attended event. Thank you very, very much. It's a pleasure. It's great to be part of it. Thank you guys for producing this. It's wonderful. Thanks all. Cheers.